Yo guys, are you still using passwords? Cause that is so 2017. It's 2018 and right now everyone is using these things called U2F security keys. So you might have heard or seen these security keys on the internet because there's lots of articles about how Google pretty much eliminated phishing attacks with their 85,000 employees by using these U2F security keys. Now these keys are very special. They look like your standard USB stick but they're not you know, a typical USB mass storage device. You probably heard of two-factor authentication. When you sign into your Google account, you might have two-factor authentication set up. Here's a summary from the website brians.wsu.edu. I don't know why. For example, UZG. So there's my Google Home. Okay, so let's take Google for example. When you sign into your Google account, it will basically ask you um, for your password and then it will ask you for some other identifying information. So most commonly, it will send you a uh, code to your phone via SMS. And then you enter that code and then you're signed in. And you know, that's fine and dandy and it works, but guess what? That is not secure at all. See, the problem with SMS is that number one, anyone could pretend to be you call up your telephone company and get your phone log. Now, yeah, it's not that easy. It will take a little bit of effort and a little social engineering, but it does happen. And also, SMS is not really a secure connection. It could be intercepted. So combine these two factors, it doesn't make SMS a really good idea for two-factor authentication. So as of right now, the most secure way for two-factor authentication are using these U2F security keys. Now, like I said, you can't think of these keys as regular USB mass storage devices because they don't save your login information to the actual key. So it's not like you can go to key and see a list of, you know, facebook.com, here's your username, here's your password. It does not work like that. You can really think of these keys as function generators. Essentially, all they do is just output public and private keys. Within a key itself, each key is manufactured with a specific hardware ID that's embedded within a chip. Websites can basically use that to uh, generate a function and get the public keys which they can save and then when, they, when you need to log in, it'll basically compare it and see if you can get the right private key. Um, the cryptography behind it is very cool. I'll post a link in the description if you want to read more about it. But basically, all you need to know is that these are using kind of an RSA type public and private key system and your passwords aren't saved onto the actual device. Now, this makes logging in super easy because Basically, when you log into a computer for the first time, it's going to ask you to input your password, and then it'll ask you to plug in the USB key. Now, when you plug it in, there's going to be a light that flashes on there, and all you do is click the button on the light. And the reason that is just to make sure that, you know, you're live breathing and a human's doing this, and this is not just left in the uh, system. Um, and then that's basically it. You're signed in when that happens. It's a very seamless process. In my opinion, it's a lot easier than checking my phone, waiting for a code, and then typing that code into the computer a lot quicker. And you don't have to do this every single time. Um, what you can do is pretty much tell the computer to remember you so that future logins on that computer, it'll remember you once you type in a password and you don't need to enter the security key, just like you would with any other two-factor authentication system. Now, another cool thing about these U2F security keys is that if you lose your key and someone else finds it, they have no information about you. It's not like they can get that key and log into the sites that you use or stuff like that. In fact, they could actually get that key and they could use it for themselves to log in to sites and use that for their own UTF setup. Um, so, you know, these are very secure. It's not like someone's gonna find the sites you log into and stuff like that using these keys. Now, the only issue is that if you do lose the key, then you need to have a backup system to get into your account because otherwise your account is only attached to that key and you're kind of going to be locked out. As far as right now, there are only a couple of sites that do support U2F security keys. There's Google, GitHub, Facebook, and um, some other smaller sites or more niche sites that do support these logins. Hopefully in the future, we'll see a widespread adoption of these U2F security key sign-ins because I really think they're so cool and they're so easy to use. Now, as far as where to find these keys, you can find them on Amazon from multiple manufacturers and they all range from 10 to $20. And each key can hold pretty much an unlimited number of sites. So it's pretty much a good bang for your buck. And if you even wanted to, you could build your own U2F security key. I'll post a link to the, that guide in the description, so definitely check it out if you're interested. But overall, like I said, guys, I really think these U2F security keys are very cool. I can definitely see them being a feature of um, logging in passwords. As far as right now, most sites are still going to ask you to create a password and use these keys. But ideally, since only your public key and nonce is saved, 
realistically, a server could just take that information and save that for your username, and they, don't, they won't even need a password for you to log in. I really think that's gonna be the future of this um, once this is more widespread adoption and once more people really start using this. But as Google have shown, these keys are legit, they do help against phishing attacks, and you know, they're just cool. So guys, tell me what you think about this in the comments below. If you like this video, definitely get a thumbs up. Don't forget to go and follow me on Twitter and go and hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.